this is Iris from Cashmere Goat in Camden, Maine. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about um, performing decreases on a purl side. Uh, so if you think about on a knit side, you're typically talking about knit two together and slip slip knit, right? In this video, we're going to be talking about how to do this on the purl side. This is very important if you're thinking about something like a cardigan, maybe you're performing decreases on a bottom up. Um, you know, any time that you've got a wrong side that you want to be decreasing on. And the way to remember it is, so for my right slanting um, decreases on my front side, this would be a knit two together. On the purl side, that would be simply a purl two together. Great, wonderful. On this side where I'm doing left slanting decreases, on the right side, that would be a slip slip knit situation. On the purl side or the wrong side of the work, that would be a purl two together through the back loop. So we're going to be, I'm going to be demonstrating both of these and I'll make sure to get it in slow motion as well. Here we are on the wrong side of the work and I'm going to get ready to just get going on my wrong side decreases. So I've just got two little pearls at the beginning and end of this row just to make things easy. Now here's where I'm going to do my, um, my decrease that will be just like a right slanting decrease on the right side and this is just my simple pearl two together. So that is my right uh, right slanting on the other side of the work, my right slanting decrease. Now um, I'm going to just purl one in the middle because I've been decreasing to get this ready for you folks. And now here comes the fun one. So purl two together through the back loop can be a little bit of a, uh, a tricky moment, but we're going to break it down. So the first thing is I'm going to slip one as if to purl, uh, sorry, as if to knit, slip the next as if to knit, slide those guys back right onto my left hand needle. And now the fun part, I'm going to get my needle in there and purl through the back loop of those stitches. And then my row ends with two more purls. Let's turn this over and give it a look. So it's just a really nice, neat way uh, to mimic those on the, again, this is performing decreases on the wrong side of your work. Let's break it down into slow-mo. This is the Pearl Two Together. This is the purl two together through the back loop. Thanks so much for joining me today for this tutorial on um, how to decrease neatly on your wrong side of the work or the purl side. And just a super quick note to say that the reason why you slip those first two stitches on the purl two together um, decrease is because you need to twist them so that they are aligned properly on your needle so you do get a nice and neat and tidy edge for them. If you like this video, please consider leaving us a comment, giving a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Cashmere Goats YouTube channel right here. And um, we're online at cashmeregoatyarn.com. Thanks so much for watching and happy making.